Hi, it's GeekWire co-founder Todd Bishop, and you're looking here at the back porch at my house in Seattle. For many years, we've relied on a microchip detecting pet door to give our cats unfettered access to the house. So if you have one of these doors, you know that the way it works is that it unlocks from the outside when it detects their microchips and opens inward. And the problem is that as this clever raccoon figured out in September, it can also be pried open the opposite way without detecting a microchip. And I woke up shortly after this to find this raccoon sitting on our living room floor after devouring all of the cat food in the house, or at least the cat food that was out at the time. I think I screamed so loud that the raccoon went running back out the cat door. In the weeks that followed, word clearly spread through the neighborhood raccoon population about the mother load of grub in our house. One raccoon even got around the special intruder mode that I had set up on the cat door, which was supposed to lock both sides when a non-microchipped object tried to enter the door. It worked most of the time, but not this time, and as you can see, it was only by a stroke of luck that this raccoon didn't come in like the one before. But then AI saved the day. A startup called Groundlight, based in Seattle, got in touch after reading my story and offered to try and solve my problem as a demonstration of its technology. Groundlight combines computer vision with 24-hour, 7-day-a-week human review for AI modeling and image recognition. Groundlight's technology is normally used in industrial and commercial settings. Tons of examples of things that its technology can do. It's really endless. So the question became, why not apply it to the task of identifying when a raccoon is on my back porch? That's what they did. After some initial training on cardboard cutouts, the system went to work, learning how to distinguish between our cats and the raccoons, building its confidence to the point that this finally happened, triggering a smart plug that turned on a super bright strobe light that ground light had set up on my back porch. As you can see, <laughs> this raccoon was not very impressed. So the ground light team went back to the drawing board and they ended up sending a radio to add to the mix under the theory that sound might be more effective, especially when combined with light. And then at 12.56 a.m. on November 20th, this happened. Three blocks. Proving that it wasn't a fluke, the system has worked on multiple occasions since then scaring raccoons away. And even better, the AI has never incorrectly identified our cats as raccoons or flashed the light on them. So that's how a Seattle startup solved my raccoon problem with a mix of public radio, strobe lights, and artificial intelligence. For all of the technical nitty gritty and some of the bigger implications of this technology, see my story on geekwire.com.